Hey friends, I wanted to show you how the Seesaw preloaded activities work. We have loaded activities onto the Seesaw, uh, Seesaw platform. They're ready to use um, whenever you um, are ready to use an activity, you can go ahead and add it into your account. When you open up the file, when you first extract the file, you're gonna see these folders here inside. Um, these folders, obviously when this is recording was done, I only had two weeks worth in, there'll be 10 weeks altogether. Um, so each side of these zip folders, there's images, right? Those aren't really the fold. If you want the one click, the one document you want to open is the one that says read me first. And that's the PDF. And I already have it open here. So this is what this particular one looks like. This is the kindergarten version. What you're going to want to do now, normally, if you're not real familiar with um, um, PDFs, um, Adobe, you can go ahead and click on this here, it's going to open it up to an expanded view. Um, this is like a little slide, it goes back and forth. So um, I always like to have more than a few rows showing so I can find the pages a little bit easier. For these one-click activities, what you're going to need to look for are the pages that have all of the links. So when I click on here, these are the links you need to add activities for week one. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here. And it's going to take me right over to Seesaw. And what I'm going to want to do is save that activity. And when I do that, it's going to take me right to my library and it's saved right here. Now I can go ahead and assign it. Sometimes when you click on a link and we'll go back and we're going to keep clicking on all of these links. Here's the review for math or the review for ELA. Sometimes when I go to add the activity, um, right now, Seesaw is really, really overwhelmed, and you might come to this page. It did it for me during this um, recording. You're going to come to this page instead. It says community instead of my library. So if I go over here to my library, didn't get added. It should have a review there. So what it's, I don't know why this glitch is happening, but I know how to fix it. So let me tell you what to do. You're going to go back to your class. And this is a really, it's worked for me every time. Of course, it's probably not going to work right now because I'm showing on a video. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and log out of my account. I'm going to sign out. Now I'll go back to that PDF. And I think this is the one I was trying to load. I'm going to save that activity. It's going to tell me I need to sign in again. And now the review ended up into my activity um, library. Um, I can go ahead and assign that if I want to. So anyhow, hopefully that helps you to get these loaded into your account. Obviously, you can make your own activities if you want to within Seesaw. So you would just go ahead if you wanted to use these and additional ones. You can certainly add to those and then assign them off to students. All right, hopefully that helped you. Thanks. Bye.